Okay, so here we are. Who here sleeps like a baby every night? Anyone. Let's face it, sleep can be a total mystery, wrapped in a riddle dipped in a mist of anxiety. Some of us used to be a champion nap takers, able to doze off anywhere, anytime. But lately, forget about it, our brain becomes a chorus of to-do lists and worries keeping us hostage. We've tried everything. Lavender oil diffusers, sleep machines that sound like dolphins, meditation, and still we wake up feeling like we ran a marathon through a pillow factory. But here's the thing, we're not alone. Turns out millions of us are battling the same sleep gremlins. And you know what fuels the fire? All the conflicting advice and misinformation floating around. One website says eight hours is golden. Another swears by polyphasic napping schedules that sound like something out of a sci-fi movie. It's enough to give you actual insomnia. So we embarked on a quest to debunk the sleep myths that keep us from catching real quality dream time. And guess what? We found some pretty eye-opening stuff. Turns out, a lot of what we believe about sleep is about as accurate as a fortune cookie prediction. So listen up, the next few minutes are gonna be packed with practical tips as we deep dive into the world of sleep. Reason number one, sleep anytime, anywhere. Okay, we've all been there. You pull an all-nighter studying or binge-watching that latest show, telling yourself, hey, I'll just sleep in late tomorrow. But guess what? Sleep isn't just about filling a sleep quota. It's about a little internal clock called your circadian rhythm, and ignoring its timing can leave you feeling like you didn't get enough sleep. Think of your circadian rhythm as your body's built-in clock, controlled by a bunch of light-sensitive cells hiding out in your eyes. These little guys are constantly taking notes on the light around you, sending signals to your brain that say, hey, sun's up, time to wake up and seize the day. Or moon's out, get cozy and count some sheep. But when you mess with that light-dark cycle, your circadian rhythm throws a temper tantrum. Suddenly, you're fighting to fall asleep when your brain's screaming sunrise party. Studies on night shift workers and jet setters show that messing with your circadian rhythm can increase stress hormones, raise your risk of heart disease, and will even mess with your memory and your mood. But wait, there's good news. We're not all carbon copies when it comes to sleep. Some of us are early birds chirping with the sunrise, while others are night owls hooting it up until dawn. This is thanks to something called chronotypes, which basically means your natural timing preference for sleeping. I will leave a link below for my video where I explain in detail what a chronotype is. There are even cool quizzes online you can take to figure out if you're a lark, an owl, or somewhere in between. We'll also leave a link below to one good quiz you can take. Once you know your chronotype, you can tweak your schedule to work with your internal clock, not against it. So if you're a morning person, don't force yourself into those late night study sessions. And night owls, no judgment for those post-midnight coding sprints. Just try to avoid scheduling important meetings before noon when your brain might still be stuck in sleep mode. Remember, sleep isn't just about the amount you get, it's about when you get it and how that plays nice with your circadian rhythm. Reason number two, eight hours or bust. We've all heard the gospel of eight hours. It's like the golden rule of sleep, etched in textbooks and whispered by well-meaning parents. But here's the kicker, just like shoe sizes, sleep needs are not a one-size-fits-all. Some rock stars function on six hours, while others need ten to conquer the day. It's all about finding your personal sweet spot. Hours are just one piece, but there's so much more to the picture. How easily you fall asleep and how refreshed you feel are all vital players in the sleep symphony. Do you wake up feeling like a grumpy ogre after seven hours? Maybe you need an extra snooze session. Or perhaps you bounce out of bed after six hours, ready to take on the world. That's your sweet spot, my friend. Of course, there are other instruments in the sleep band too. Did you have a stressful day that might throw off your rhythm and make it harder to sleep? Did you exercise like a beast right before bed? Well, hold on to your nightcap because your body might be too revved up to wind down. The key is to listen to your body's whispers, not the alarm clock's screams. If you wake up naturally feeling rested, you're probably doing something right. Remember, sleep quantity is just one note in the symphony of sleep quality. Reason number three, rise and grind at the same time every day. We've all heard the mantra, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. While consistency has its perks, like helping your body adjust to a sleep-wake cycle. It's not a drill sergeant barking orders. Life's not a perfectly calibrated clock, folks. Sometimes those late-night movie marathons happen, or that weekend trip throws your schedule into a tailspin. 
The good news, your circadian rhythm isn't a tyrant. It's more like a chill roommate willing to make some compromises. Remember those chronotypes we talked about in part one? Well, they change throughout life too. Teenagers, bless their souls, are wired to stay up late and sleep in. Early birds, they sprout with the sunrise even on weekends. And adults, we're somewhere in the middle juggling work, family, and that persistent desire to hit the snooze button. So instead of forcing yourself into a rigid schedule, listen to your internal clock. If you're a weekend warrior who thrives on late night revelry, don't beat yourself up for sleeping in on Sundays. And early birds, don't feel obligated to drag yourself out of bed at dawn on your vacation. Embrace the late morning sunshine and enjoy a slower pace. Of course, consistency does have its benefits, but remember, life happens. Don't let the stress of maintaining a perfect schedule sabotage your precious sleep. Reason number four, blue light before bed. We've all heard the horror stories. A single scroll through Instagram before bed and boom, insomnia city. The truth is, blue light does suppress melatonin, a hormone that helps us feel sleepy. It's why staring at screens in the middle of the night can feel like trying to sleep in a disco. But here's the catch. The amount of blue light emitted from most devices is pretty minimal compared to, say, sunlight. So what about those nights you scroll for hours and suddenly find yourself wide awake at 3 a.m.? Well, blame the entertainment itself. Those sleep tracking apps with their glowing notifications and sleep score judgments can actually amp up our sleep anxiety. Instead of obsessing over blue light and app metrics, try focusing on calming down before bed. Your body and mind will thank you. Remember, the real sleep thief isn't a tiny ray of blue light. It's our own overthinking and anxiety. Reason number five, sleep apps, yay or nay? We've all been there desperately downloading every sleep app under the sun in a quest for perfect slumber. But here's a wake up call. Those glowing rectangles promising personalized sleep solutions might be making us more stressed, not less. So guess what? That constant monitoring can actually backfire. Instead of relaxing, we become obsessed with numbers, analyzing our sleep like scientists dissecting a frog. But sleep isn't a math equation. And those one-size-fits-all algorithms in most sleep apps simply can't capture the unique factors that affect our sleep. So instead of relying solely on apps, consider a more holistic approach. Focus on healthy sleep habits, establish a regular sleep schedule, create a relaxing bedtime routine, and optimize your sleep environment. Address underlying issues. If stress or anxiety are affecting your sleep, seek professional help. Cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia is an effective treatment. Remember, ultimately, good sleep comes from understanding your body and creating a supportive environment. Ditch the pressure of perfect sleep and embrace a gentler, more personalized approach. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our content, please like and subscribe. It helps us bring you more interesting value.